spring coming just right around the corner, there's one important step that should be done every year, especially around this time of the year. And that one special step that gets overlooked often can lead to wasted products being used on your lawn and can also lead to other issues down the road. So what is that special step that you're asking? Well, let's get to it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button and help me get this information out to others. I would really appreciate the help. What is that one step that I was talking about? It's this right here. It's the My Soil Test Kit. I'll leave a link for this down below. I'll also leave a link for Yard Mastery because they also have one that is actually very, very similar and it's the same to this. And the reason why I like these kits so much is because they're very easy to use for the homeowner. Everything you need is contained in this little kit right here. There are other methods you can go through. You can go through Waypoint, Spectrum Analytic, uh, your local co-op, some universities do them, but here in California, our options are kind of limited. Our universities don't test them, or at least I haven't been able to find one that does. So I use the My Soil test kits. The reason I like these kits over the other ones, this kit has everything in it. I get the sample, I put it in the container, I throw it in the envelope, I ship it off, I go online within two to three days and I get my results back. With the other companies, you actually have to bag up a certain amount, which is about a quart size Ziploc bag full of soil, send it in to them and then for the most part they'll send you a bill or you send the payment for waypoint like directly ahead um, it all depends on their methods but I just like this method easier because it's easier for me just to do it all in a one-stop shop and I have used spectrum I use them every other year just to see what my CECs are in my soil which makes a huge difference for me especially last year because I was able to see just exactly how quickly the nutrients and the fertilizers I was putting in were actually being drained out so I've learned that I have a low CEC numbers which allows me to actually do spoon feedings and I'll get more into that later on through the year. Let's get back to the soil kit and I'll show you exactly what I use to take my soil samples. So you have several options when it comes to testing and how to get your soil samples done. What I like to use is I'll either use the Pro Plugger, you can use the Common Hand Garden Trowel. My soil has a test kit that comes with a little soil plugger. I kind of don't like using this one because I've got big fat fingers so it's kind of hard for me to get the soil out of there. But my overall preferred method for getting my samples is this right here. And this is just a soil probe from, I believe, AMS. I got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link for that down below as well. Okay, so the proper way to get a soil sample test is you want to make sure that you get at least a good four to six inches into the soil. As you can see here, I am using my soil probe to get my plugs out for my soil sample. And here you can see I'm about six inches down. So what I'll do is I'll take about seven to eight of these samples throughout my yard and then mix them together to make sure that I'm getting an overall picture of what's going on. Don't focus too much on your nitrogen levels, but you do want to focus on the potassium and you also want to focus on the phosphorus because these are the important ones for the overall plant growth. Nitrogen can always be put down at any time to get that color and growth that you need. I'll leave a link up in the corner about how important it is for potassium. Um, this thing comes in handy and I'll get into this more throughout the season as well. There's a lot of multiple things you can do with this right here to help you throughout your lawn season. So I'm gonna go out and get a mow in. I'll show you how easy it is to pack it, ship it, and send it off. Okay, so let's get into the kit. Inside your kit, this card here is very important. That number right there is gonna be your registration number for when you log on to My Soil. And I will show you that link as well. Inside you also get a first class envelope with no postage necessary to mail it back with your sample inside of it. You get a scoop to fill your soil in and you wanna make sure that it's even with this cup because that's the amount that will go inside the cup. It's actually like a 26.6 cc amount of soil that goes in there. And then here's your soil sample and inside, make sure you leave that in there. That's to help do the soil set, the actual soil test when they receive it. So, and if you look inside here, there's a little instructions, quick little register online, add your soil, mail the kit, get your results back and amend your soil. So that's pretty much what the kit looks like. So I do my soil sample kits twice a year. So here's my dirt and then on the inside of the lid I actually write front 2022 so that's the front yard so what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll mix this all up and I'll pull out as much of the roots and grass as I possibly can and then I'll place it inside that ample right there or excuse me inside the container right here and I'll send it off and wait for my results all right and that's it so you've taken your samples you've put it in the container and now you're ready to ship it off go on here to the URL and take that barcode number and you're going to register that on the my soil website and you'll get an email back telling you that your soil sample 
sample is ready and then you just print it out or you look at it and make your amendments. So I hope you got something out of this video. It's quick and simple. Um, I do my soil samples twice a year, always at the beginning of spring and then sometime before fall just to see where I'm at. Um, it's just me, you don't have to do that. You don't even have to do a soil sample if you don't want to, but I highly recommend that you get one done. Uh, the links that are down below are both affiliate links. Yes, I do get a small commission from that, but I take my commissions and I give them back to charity for first responders, military, and other charitable organizations like that. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Let's keep your lawns in order and let's get this season started. I'll see you guys in the next one.